So we're talking about the SIG anti-snag, so we have to draw from a holster and see if it's actually gonna snag. So why don't we try that? Everybody, Nate here from Alien Gear Holsters, and today we're talking about the SIG P365 Evolution. Yes, SIG Sauer revolutionized the gun industry with these micro compacts. Uh, they started out with this 365, ended up with the XL version, and uh, now we have the SAS, which is the SIG Anti Snag. I'm going to be talking about all these firearms, breaking them down. But uh, for right now, we should probably do a little more shooting. Now, for the SAS, we're going to talk about the sights on this thing here in a minute. Let's talk about this thing for a second. This is the SIG Anti-Snag. Uh, not that I think the P365 snagged in the first place, but uh, you know what they've done is they put all these controls that are flush mounted. You do not have the sights, which makes it about five millimeters shorter, but the sights are inside there. Uh, one thing that I think is gonna be tough is dropping that slide, that slide release is pretty tough to get to. Uh, to get that dropped in and then obviously uh, to break that down in the field strip it isn't super easy uh, although I will say you can put that mag release button on the other side so that's cool you got serrations in the front and the rear again you got the fluted slide and barrel there to minimize your recoil um, overall it's good I think it's gonna take a little bit for me I just not used to these sites so it's gonna take a little bit more for me to get really really comfortable with those sites but uh, it's a good gun, all of them are. I have really nothing bad to say about them. So the SIG P365, the original P365, I've shot several thousand rounds through. I really like this gun. Uh, I'm very accurate with it. It's super easy to conceal. Uh, there's not a whole lot of difference between the three, the XL and the SAS. The SAS is very similar in dimensions. Obviously we're gonna get into the sights. The one thing that's different about this XL, uh, not only does it have a longer barrel and a little bit longer of a grip, it also has an optic ready slide. So you can put uh, an optic on there as well. I do like these uh, sights, they're pretty good. I got a, I ha it took a little bit to get used to uh, this XL, just about five seconds, <laughs> but uh, it took a little longer to get used to this new FT bullseye sight on the SAS. Uh, which I'm going to show you a little bit of that up close and personal right here. Um, and I don't know if you guys can see that. Once I did figure that out, though, it is awesome. And when you're shooting with both eyes open, which you should, it makes it very easy to see that target and get on target, which I really liked about that. Uh, it's pretty cool. It's very similar in size. It has that uh, ported barrel and slide, uh, which limits your recoil. I'm gonna have to keep shooting, but I do, I, I guess right now I'd say the XL had a little less recoil. I don't know how or why. Um, maybe it was just something subconscious. I'm not really sure. Uh, but they all felt really good. I am using the 12 round extended magazine for the P365, uh, which I, it ships with a 10 round magazine. It also uh, ships with the 12 round magazine. You can also get 15 round magazines, which looks like that there. Uh, this XL ships with two 12 round magazines. Uh, there's the flat plate and then there's the extended plate there, mag plate. And then uh, the SAS just ships with 10 round magazines. Two of those come with that. And that's what I'm shooting here in the SAS. Uh, pretty cool triggers on all of these firearms. I will show you the, the trigger set up there. Uh, here is the brake right there. Here's the trigger reset. Pretty sweet. There. They're all pretty similar. I will say that the XL, though, has a little bit different trigger. 
which I kind of like a little bit better. And I'll show you that right there. And uh, I don't know if you can see it better this angle. So I'll go to that angle, right? And here's the reset. It uh, comes to about a 90 degrees and then breaks. Uh, it's smooth, it's pretty crisp. Um, there's not a whole lot of difference in any of these other than obviously the size and the sights. For those of you who bought the P365, and now you're kind of interested in the XL or maybe even this new SAS, the SIG Anti-Snag. Well, here's the cool thing about it that uh, SIG's done here is basically all you have to do is, and you don't have to pull the trigger to release that. That's a pretty cool thing. So you take your 365 frame, and then we're going to take the XL here, and uh, we're going to take that off. We're going to take that barrel and slide. We're going to put it right there. There you go. Now your 365 is an XL. Well, halfway. Still have that same grip there, but uh, then maybe you're uh, going, well, I want to try that SAS version. So what do you do? Well, this is where it gets a little tricky. You need to have some kind of coin or something to uh, break this thing down. Maybe I could try one of these. Let's just see. And you're going to spin that takedown lever there. You're going to release that. Okay, now you're going to put this slide right there. Now you have an SAS. So that's pretty cool. And uh, there you go. Uh, that is the one thing about this uh, SAS is that you, uh, you can't break it down, field strip it super easy. You got to have uh, some sort of something. I just used a, an, an ammo around there, so now you're good to go. And uh, now you're back in business. So there you go. That's one cool thing I did like about that. The XL and the P365. And now we just go right back to business here. Done. All right. Let's shoot some more of this ammo. We're going to put some personal defense ammo in these. And we're going to shoot those. Make sure they work perfectly with all sorts of ammo. And, of course, we got to have some fun. All right, let's load up uh, some personal defense ammo in this XL and see how that's going to work. How about that? Let's get a couple rounds out and uh, load it on up. Load it on up. All right, well, now it's time for the SAS. We'll throw some of this ammo in there. Uh, well, of course, we've got to shoot some SIG Sour ammo for shooting this SIG right here. So let's grab a couple of those rounds and uh, load this thing up. See how it works. Here, this is the V-Crown right here. 115 grain jacketed hollow point. Thing's cool. I like these guns. I really do. Uh, especially how small they are and how many rounds you can carry. So let's talk a little bit about uh, how these guns feel and how they conceal. Uh, this is the P365 and uh, what I have here is the extended 12 round magazine, which is perfect. You can see there that my pinky doesn't fall off, which is what I like. I like that. I feel that uh, I can get a good handle on that, uh, that grip and uh, get good support on the side there. So I like that. Now look, the 10 round magazine doesn't work for me real great and uh, there's this 15 round magazine as well. Uh, it's, it's quite a bit longer. I, I don't like that. It's a little harder to conceal that uh, as well. So uh, I use those as a backup. But uh, let's talk about the XL version. You'll see here there's a little bit of a beaver tail uh, which will prevent a little bit of that slide bite there. Uh, it actually feels a little more comfortable for me. Again, that comes with uh, a 12 round magazine. That's the flat plate there. And you, I don't really need much more than that. Um, it's kind of fits perfect. I know it has that longer barrel too, which uh, should make me more accurate, <laughs> right? And uh, it, seems, it feels good. I, I, I might like that grip a little bit better feels a little better in my hand. Let's put this back in there and yeah, it's not that much different actually, but they both feel pretty good. Now let's go to the SAS, which is the 10 round magazine. Uh, it's a little smaller. I do have that 
little extended plate there. It's a 10 round magazine. I could still get that peaky on there quite a bit. It's not fully over there, but uh, it works. I think the only thing would be getting that mag in there. The peaky gets in the way, but uh, overall, it's still pretty sweet. I like it. That's 10 rounds, and that's super tiny. Again, look at that. We can conceal that no problem whatsoever. Uh, also, you want to get a good holster, and obviously that's not going to snag. Uh, that's the anti-snag. It isn't snagging at all. Not that I could imagine the regular 365 snags at all. Uh, I have no problem with this gun. I own a couple of these, carry this every day, and have never had an issue with it. Uh, so... You want to get a good holster so when you're concealed carrying that's i think what this gun is designed for right is to conceal carry your maximum capacity uh for something that small it's a micro compact so that's what's really cool about it is uh but you want to be able to get something that is easy to conceal now look at that i don't know that's like nothing right there to conceal uh, which this isn't that hard to conceal either. The XL, it's a little bit bigger, but not much. You're still going to be able to conceal it very easily. So we're talking about the SIG anti-snag. So we have to draw from a holster and see if it's actually going to snag. So why don't we try that? I would say that uh, I'm able to really stay on target right there. Uh, you'll be able to see that in the close-up version, but uh, I just unleashed it and I was able to stay on target pretty much the whole time. And uh, yeah, I like it. I like it. Let's, uh, let's try it in another holster, shall we? All right, well, we should try it from an Alien Gear shoulder holster. We might as well, right? I mean, why wouldn't we? I like it. I like it a lot. That's the SIG anti-snag right there. And it sure is not hanging up. There's no snag. I can promise you that. Well, that's the basics of the P365 Evolution. Uh, pretty cool. I really got to highlight the modular system, basically going from the original 365. Uh, you can change out that slide and barrel so you can have an XL. Or if you want, you can put the SIG anti-snag on there as well, which is pretty cool to interchange those between firearms as well. Uh, depending on which trigger you like, you got a different trigger. Uh, overall, I like the accuracy of it. Uh, I like the feel in my hand. Uh, I like the minimal recoil. Uh, the price point, uh, I think this is MSRP now. $599 for the P365, $579 for the XL and the SAS. Uh, I know you can get them cheaper than that, but that's the MSRP on those. Uh, overall, great gun for the price. Uh, I don't really have a whole lot of negative to say about them. Very easy to conceal and carry a whole lot of rounds. And uh, yeah, we're going to keep shooting. We've got a lot of ammo to go through, so we want to make sure that uh, these are going to perform. So far, so good. Make sure you stay tuned and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Alien Gear. We have a lot more videos for you. From all of us at Alien Gear, please carry safe, carry in comfort, carry on.